how many of you would like to know how plastics affect us on a day-to-day -day basis and how many of you would like to know what are those products in the plastics that affect our health this is dr lenny de costa a functional medicine expert a genetic physician and the author of the upcoming book is your doctor keeping you sick my dear friends today i've decided to actually dive deep into how plastics affect us on a day-to-day -day basis how they contaminate our food chain and and kind of are responsible for some of the chronic disorders for which today modern medicine has absolutely no answers for so to begin with i have this huge list here with me and i'd like to share this with you let us start with polyvinyl chloride now this is three number three pvc which is normally present in food packaging and plastic wraps what does it do it can cause and this is what has been mentioned it can cause cancer, birth defects, genetic changes, chronic bronchitis, ulcers, skin disease, deafness, vision failure, indigestion and liver dysfunction. Now this is something present in your food packaging, in the plastic wrap that you put around your food, sometimes even hot food. So polyvinyl chloride is the first poison that you have in plastic. We use it on a regular basis in covering our food. What's the alternative? Stop using it. Doesn't matter if your food is open. Far better than having a carcinogen get into your bodies or into your food chain. Number two, phthalates. These you see in softened uh, vinyl products. Now these vinyl products are normally used in medical, uh, medical equipments that you use like uh, gas masks and uh, and IV fluids and things like that. They do also have issues. They can cause endocrine disruption. But the, the, the good part of this is that you're occasionally using it. You're not using it on a regular basis. So whatever you get exposed to is far less, even though it's used for uh, medical consumables. And therefore, we don't have a choice today, but to use them, if we could, we should avoid using uh, these vinyl substances which have uh, phthalates in them. Number three, the commonly talked about and spoken about bisphenol A, which is present in all plastic bottles. What does it cause? It is an endocrine disruptor. It is responsible for a whole lot of cancers. It causes obesity, diabetes, early onset of puberty, uh, hyperactivity and, and hyperactivity among all the problems that you see in young, young kids. So something that can easily be avoided. People ask me, what can we do if we don't have those plastic bottles? Stop using those plastic bottles. Use glass bottles, use steel bottles, store your water in there. Don't use used plastic bottles for God's sake. Even if you're buying mineral water, there are glass bottles available. It's a little expensive, but it's a small price to pay for your health, my dear friends. Stop using bisphenol based plastic bottles. That's not it. Then you have something known as polystyrene. And what is polystyrene? Polystyrene are those cups that you get, the food containers that you get. Again, it can cause a whole lot of issues. It's known to cause elevated rates of lymphatic and hemopoietic cancers. Please understand, these cancers have no medical solutions for them. These are blood cancers that we're talking about or the lymphatic cancers that we're talking about. So please avoid those styrene, styrene cups, polystyrene cups. Uh, you have them, those white cups that you get, which are not paper cups, they're like something like thermocoil and you have those boxes where they put hot food and give you, it easily gets into your food chain, it gets into your body, it is a carcinogen, it's a cancer causing uh, chemical that gets it. Why would you want that to happen? It's just packaging material for God's sake. Take a, if you need to get something from a restaurant which is going to package it this way, please don't use that. Go carry your own uh, uh, containers and get your food in that. So please, you need to take these small precautions to avoid getting these carcinogens into your body. Then we've got polyethylene 
and this you will get in number one pet where is this pet used for making your soda bottles and your water bottles so all of you who use soda from pet bottles and water bottles chances are if it's exposed or if you are reusing them the chances are a lot of this uh, uh, polyethylene gets into it and what does polyethylene cause it is a suspected human carcinogen again it's supposed to cause cancer and finally the last one that i want to talk to you about is tetrafluoroethylene yes tetrafluoroethylene where is tetrafluoroethylene present it's present in your kitchens in your non-stick cooking uh, utensils and cookware what does it cause it causes everything from irritated throat irritation eye irritation Two, it can cause breathing disorders. But most importantly, it's again an endocrine disruptor which causes aging. So my dear friends, what will you use? This is a question that is asked. If I don't use non, non-stick cookware, what else can I use? For God's sake, go back to your old cookware. Stainless steel cookware is available. You can use that. You can use stainless steel frying pans. Yes, they're, stick, they're sticky, they're messy, but they're far more safer and uh, healthier. Would you compromise your health for the sake of comfort while you're cooking? My dear friends, these were a few tips I have given you as far as plastics are concerned. I, in my day-to-day practice, I have been practicing for the last 17, 18 years, uh, sorry, 25 years, but last 17, 18 years as a functional medicine uh, doctor. And I've been seeing tons of patients who come to me with endocrine uh, disruptions. And what are endocrine disruptions? Everything from menstrual irregularities to PCODs in young girls, who do not get their menses on time. Some of the reasons why this happens is because of these endocrine disruptors present in all kinds of plastics that we use. Plastic containers, plastic wraps, plastic bottles, uh, styrene, uh, polystyrene cups and, 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 uh, and, uh, and containers that we get our food in. All of them cause endocrine disruptions. What happens when endocrine, disrup- uh, uh, endocrine disruption takes place? your normal uh, human physiological hormonal balance is disrupted so you have a hormonal imbalance leading to hormonal problems Uh, you don't get your menses properly you start putting on weight everything physiologically that has to go wrong goes wrong with you and specifically for young girls it becomes a real problem because then they start going to the gym they try to work out but it doesn't help because it's the problem lies somewhere else it's not with their food it's not with their exercise it lies somewhere else and and they end up over exercising releasing more cortisol making them put on more weight so sometimes when you start looking and barking up the wrong tree you're only harming yourself first start with your food chain look at your food chain and see how clean it is the one way that you need to get your food clean is remove these plastic poisons poisons that come through plastics poison that come poisons that come through non-stick cookware i've said this in the past i keep saying it and so i did this because i was getting a lot of information a lot of questions and a lot of uh, comments saying that if we stop using non-stick cookware what will happen what should we use instead of plastic bottles i'm saying it again if you need to get rid of the plastic bottles use glass bottles go back to them use uh, stainless steel bottles and and containers for water. They are available in the market today. For non-stick cookware, use stainless steel cookware. You can use it. It's far better, far safer, right? So with this, my dear friends, I hope this message has gone in. I hope you will start taking care of your health. Things that you can do in your kitchens, which will help you to take care of your health. I have a lot of videos that I have done for you. They are available on my YouTube channel. YouTube channel is simple, YouTube slash C, uh, www.youtube.com slash C slash Dr. Lenny DeCosta. Go there, you'll get lots of videos. Like this, if you like this video, please share it. Please give me a thumbs up. And yes, I'll see you soon with a new video. Bye, happy living, Have stay safe and have a great week ahead.